Uh, you know what it's like when somebody drops in unexpectedly to the house and it's a wreck? Well, that's how I feel. Look at the mess that I've got here today with all of this in the forms and clamps everywhere. We're going to undo all of that in just a minute or two. But disaster struck. Oh my goodness. The first build, all of that beautiful wood that I showed you is garbage. I'm sorry, but that's just the way it is. I'll tell you more about it as soon as we spin that intro. I'll be right back. All right, I am back to tell you about the disaster. First of all, the half piece that we did, which is the, this is the top part, right? That's coming around here. Then you got the cutaway on the, on the bottom that comes like this. Well, that piece, it was like th there was a flaw in the wood. It could have been a knot. It could have been anything. I don't know. But when it came into the bender, it ended up cracking. And I thought, what is that? And then I looked around and there was no way I could recover this. And so that went to the garbage. But I did bend the other side and I thought, perfect, it bent just beautifully. Uh, no, let me show you if I get my pencil here. I'm gonna come up to the camera here and I'll just point these out to you. So take a look at this. I can put super glue in there and it will secure that and hold it. But when I bend it again, it's gonna crack beside that. And the problem is because there's so much figure, the grain is running this way and the figure is running this way. There's so much of that that it's breaking right along that line. So really, I can't use this. And, and the reason you haven't heard from me is because I had to go back, get some more wood come back bring it into the shop here let it acclimatize before i did all of this so this is all garbage and it's expensive let alone time consuming now while i was laying in bed awake this morning first thing i got thinking i've got an idea i'm going to cut this right along here because i can make that totally flat i'm going to cut this right along here because that's totally flat and I'm gonna use these pieces here on the headstock of our guitar because I have thinned down new wood to about 70 thousandths of an inch, maybe 71, somewhere in around there. This was around 82, 81, somewhere in that vicinity. And so there's where we're at. And I've got all of this. And the reason that you see this mess is after I took it out of the bender, I put it into the form here, and instead of cutting it, I wanted to wait because I want it to be very good and dry. This has been drying now for over about 36 hours now that it's been drying. So if we were to take a look at the part that's the cutaway, I can, I can, if I can figure out what I did with it, I don't know what I did with it. I've got another piece of this around here somewhere, but it, oh yeah, it's over here. So what I'm gonna do is, is pull this out and show you what we've got. So why don't we undo this? You know what? Before we do any of that, it's time for some English breakfast tea because I need it. You have no idea how discouraging this is. It's difficult enough to make a guitar but to set up the camera, to get everything so that it's working, to make sure that I've got everything plugged in. You, you wouldn't believe how many times I've done this and forgot to plug in the sound or something else and I have to redo it. The trouble is when you cut something in this, you can't go back and get it again. It's, it's done. 
So I'm struggling a little bit and then I'm learning about the editing and I've had some people uh, explain a few things to me about Instagram and how I didn't have some of my hashtags right and I'm very grateful for your support and letting me know that because I'm fixing that up just so that we can all be on the same page at the same time. All right, we are just about here. There it is. There's the lower bout right in here. And I can tell you right now that if we were to look at this, just as I showed you, you would find that it's absolutely perfect. There's no, no cracks, there's no splintering, nothing. It's really great and I'm very excited about this. Now, this is the curve and this little piece of wood is going to be the piece that goes in. Well, I'll, I'll take that tape off a little later. This is going to be glued in here like this. And then the curvature is coming in here like this. Now I haven't finished with this little piece of wood, but that's how it's going to look. So then we've got the, the top piece coming over here, which is this right here. So. I've got work to do to get this ready to glue in place and then we've got to glue this to the block at the top. Now, I want to tell you that there's something that you've got to be very careful of when you're, when you're making this and you're working at the top of the guitar. When you come to the top, you can't just, you cannot just take this and glue it in place. You have to make sure you get it lined up. It's not with the end of the mold. It's halfway on the mold because we're going to have to cut this so that the side piece can come in into here. And because it's not going to hit it straight on, I've got to create the angle on this block when I glue it in here. So I've got some work to do and I'm going to get onto that right away and then I'll, I'll bring you back and show you where we're at because we'll get this put together and put in the form. You've seen me glue this on the previous video so there's not much to it. We simply glue one half, one side. We will exaggerate. We, we've got the center line. We simply clamp it on here and we glue it like this. And when that's all set, when we put the other piece on, we just have to butt it up against it. We don't have to jockey it around and try and figure out where everything is. It's, it's all going to line up and I'll be good. So what do you say we cut it short here? Let me get on to doing some of that. And then I'll get back to you real quick with a, another update as to where we're at. But what a disaster. All that money wasted, that beautiful wood. Oh, it's one of the nicest figured pieces of maple I've ever seen and it's garbage. Oh, maybe the headstock will look good. Let's hope so. Well, that's it for me today. Time for some English breakfast tea once again. Thank you very much for joining me. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. And by all means, don't forget to hit the bell so you get notified in a subsequent video. Get yourself some English breakfast tea. Check out the links down below. And I'll see you in the next video. Thank you, friends.